Tavat is a Thai artist, curator, and graphic designer. She is also a co-founder of the gallery Speedy Grandma in Bangkok. Let's have a good talk with this art educator, interested to provide new ways of creating and experiencing art in the capital of Thailand. I'm Julie Vexel. Welcome to the Siak Talks Bangkok. And how did you realize that you were a creator and artist? I think as an artist, like actually maybe not long ago, maybe let's say in 2017, when I start to like, maybe I could actually, I try to rent the studio, my own studio. Because before that, I just running the space, but I don't have my own studio. So I think when I start to decide that, okay, let's have a, my own studio to make work. Before that, I, I'm making things, but I guess like I wouldn't even consider that it's like artwork. I like to make drawing, I make like illustration, but I guess I see it as just some work that I use it as an outlet to express my idea. But I guess at the time, I think of being a, an artist means that you have to make money from it. So I didn't make money from it and then like, oh, maybe it's just work that I do. But I think when I start having my own studio, I produce more things and I actually sell. So <laughs> so maybe it is as well in a way, it's make me realize that, okay, I can be one. study graphic design because I at when I was young I thought that like become an artist you have to have like a crazy background like like your story when you were shy have to be crazier my one is pretty normal so I thought like oh maybe I'm not born to be an artist so I study graphic design because I thought that maybe I could make money from it and then after that like uh, when I nearly graduated in graphic design, I started to making more illustration. And then I thought like, okay, I want to make illustration moving. So that's why I went to study uh, animation in Melbourne for my master degree. And then over there is where I get to hang out with all these artist friends. And I start to realize that what I do is actually maybe can call art as well. But at the time I still like, it still happened through invitations that like friend like, okay, let's do this. And then I do it. But I didn't like initiate everything by myself. And then I moved to back to Thailand, start to open my own space, Speedy Grandma. And then I think at that time I realized after that Speedy Grandma is actually my artwork as well, in a way that I help like, organized thing for other people but I also have the direction of what I want it to be so I see it as like some kind of artwork and then yes after that I start to make my own thing mainly I selecting work from artists that I appreciate their work but then I would just give them all the freedom that like okay you can do whatever you want I have the space for you I help you install and maybe I, if you need my advice or suggestion, we could discuss a little bit. But in terms of the content, I didn't interfere at all. In Melbourne, what did you learn? What was your most interesting culture adventure there? I think over there, it's just because this group of friends, I don't think they they make work for the white wall gallery only. They actually make work and exhibit on the street. 
a lot of time, like they or even they uh, renting some warehouse to exhibit some work, to show some work. So I think that's where I start to realize that like uh, exhibition could or artwork could happen in other places as well, apart from just like white wall gallery. So I think that's what I learned. And also like my friend just said that you can do whatever you want. Just don't like worry about other people. Just just make things. So that's I think that's what I get and like is the it's become an influence, big influence how I run Speedy Grandma as well because I will just like have this space as a playground for young artists who never actually exhibit any solo exhibition before. So I just like okay, this is a place you could try anything. Do it. I will assist. Fantastic. This is a, a kind of alternative space yes. in Bangkok. Yes. Uh huh. That's the essence of the the spirit grandma. Yes. Uh, I think from at the beginning, I guess it start from that like the idea of want to rebel against something, or I want to just like why we have to be serious and looking at work very seriously all the time or, or we have to be nervous to be in a gallery. So how I create Speedy, I want to make it more friendly where like you kind of like feel relaxed. I want to make this as another option of what we have in the landscape, art landscape here that like, hey, you could have some kind of this space of course, like later now, I realize that uh, it doesn't mean that our direction is better than the other, but I think my role, I want to provide option for the city. I wish we have more support from the government that, that the artwork shouldn't be only in one certain way that they've been promoting, but they should try to support uh, some of it that doesn't fit into their mold. And, and of course, like, like, and sometimes, like the artwork or exhibition uh, shouldn't be considered as good quality or best quality because they sell a lot, like so I don't want it to be that uh, something has to be commercial only. You shouldn't like uh, make decision based on that, uh, does this like bring the value in terms of money back to the country or not? It should be sometimes like because like some artwork that you won't even make money from it, but of course maybe it can help people think about some issue that you never think before. So I wish, I wish the, the government try to have more like better team to understand that what kind of artwork do we need in the city. Like it shouldn't be just one thing. I think like uh, to talk about like contemporary art is tricky because of course like I would consider Speedy Grandma contemporary art fit in this contemporary art scene in Bangkok. But still like how would you consider it because like there's other kind of art, like let's say they make illustration, they make art toy, would be right now, would we call them like contemporary art as well? Or do we think about contemporary art as we understand from European country that, oh, it have to look like this to be contemporary art. So I'm not sure that like, I guess I try to not thinking about it so much and like just, it's okay, it's okay. After these experiences, uh, how do you perceive your mission? So uh -huh. in the culture scenario? So of course the mission for Speedy Grandma, I still would love to support uh, young and emerging artists through exhibition. Of course, right now we don't have the exhibition space of our own. So we tend to like try to make connection with other venue and then we, uh, if we see some young artists that we like to see them bloom. So we try to support them to have their first solo exhibition. But also we, 
as me and other team member, we try to be more like create more content that is like doesn't need to communicate through the form of exhibition only. We want to produce more publication. We want to produce more workshop and talk. So we get to the point of what we want to communicate straight away mm -hmm. to the audience. For me, this idea of collective is grow like naturally because uh, because how how I start Speedy Grandma is is more like uh, we have the space downstairs, but like second floor we have the hangout space as well where people come randomly and talk about things. I start to realize that uh, there's so many things that it's better to achieve it with many people, especially like like-minded people. And I feel like you, when you have more brains to think about things, it's, it's so much better and, and you learn so much more throughout working with other people and it's fun. Exactly, have fun. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think that's my main goal as well, that I still want to have fun with whatever I do. So, so that's, that's why I think like have friends to do things with is better. an art educator. What do you dream about uh, culture and art in Bangkok for the future? What could be the, the most beautiful scenario in your point of view? Of course, I dream that my student would create more project where it's touching all these social issue. Like I, I wish that they start to realize their own privilege and willing to try to somehow make some change, even minor change related to this like other social issue that we are facing. So I hope that like, I mean, of course, right now I start to see it as well that the, the trend of like uh, our student, like this is project start to changing they not really only talking about their personal issue anymore. They start to see the connection between their personal issue toward like the society. And, and I hope that in the future, they, they're gonna have more solidarity to the people that maybe doesn't have enough privilege like them and try to help assist them somehow. Right now, as we open the library downstairs, which is like the door is more open for public. So hopefully that people could come hang out and connect to each other more. I want that to be more public space where people can meet and start something else. We could talk like for days in terms of mm -hmm. like, the accessibility to the art scene in, in Thailand. Most of the art happen in the Bangkok scenes. So it's super like centralized here. All these young artists, they have to find some way, somehow to get in the scenes, which I find is quite unfortunate in terms of like, uh, since we live in this world where, where people still judging of you, how you actually approaching the crowd or how do you present yourself when you try to enter these scenes. So I hope somehow as like, I'm not so sure how we could break that system yet, but we hope that since Speedy now, I guess we are situated in the scene as well, we can be like more friendly portal to them to enter and hopefully they can go to other places. You could have fun while you talk about serious things. Like, like politics and yes. social issues. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. You can use this form of like humor. You can use humor to communicate things and, and, and you also can have fun while doing it as well. 
uh, I think that's 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 the role of Speedy too. That like uh, like we try to change the way how we perceive that like oh you have to look serious or look proper, <laughs> look like conventional only to talk about super serious issues. So we destroy all that <laughs> and still talk the same thing but in different way. I, I want to encourage people to just making thing do do your thing if you believe that. This is the thing that you want to do. Just making it happen because, like, I don't think I. I wish they don't scared or worry that like does this fit into something or not. Like, I wish there's more variety in this country, and if they can sustain well enough, if they try to push and be patient and endure all of this enough. Uh, in the future, there will be enough ways for people to choose just that. Kapkunka, obrigada. Thank obrigada. you so much. Thank you so much as well. <laughs>